Well, I, I think it shows with the anti A beta immunotherapies, which seem to be working as to activate the immune system, that if you do this in a targeted fashion, that for most people, you'll get a Goldilocks result. Um, it's still not, I think, uh, good enough to be truly transformative. We're slowing cognitive decline. We're not halting it. Maybe that will be better the earlier you go. A clear, it's also clear that the later you go in disease, the less impact you're probably going to have. At least that's what the early data say. Um, so, you know, I think the challenge is that we need to do a much better job in our preclinical studies of looking at the potential for untoward effects. And we have tools to do that. We could do omic level analysis to say, did we make, when we removed amyloid, did we actually cause other problems that we weren't necessarily looking for? Which we really didn't have to, the ability to do back when we were doing this. There had to be some overt phenotypic problem. And I think today we could look more you know, at a discrete uh, molecular level to, in an unbiased way, to say, did I, well, yeah, I cleared amyloid, but I also made the animal look a lot less like a normal, non-transgenic animal than the other. And even in humans, we now have biomarkers that we could track um, many, many, both positive and negative changes much more easily if these therapies were ever moved into the clinic.